one of our, our big challenges was creating the city of San Francisco. Um, one of the things about the storytelling of these films is that as we embark on creating the assets, we're not always sure exactly how they're going to be used. You heard about the story development process, and it is constantly evolving, sometime very, very late in the process. So we were lucky in that we had a fairly contained um, setting for our film within the city, um, but we weren't sure where in the city. So we really embarked on a very ambitious project to create the whole city so that we could uh, spend time pretty much anywhere in the city, and that would evolve as the story came to be. So San Francisco was destroyed by an earthquake in 1906, and they've been rebuilding it for 107 years. But you're going to do it in one year. <laughs> that's, that's right. We had, to, uh, we had to be aggressive. There's no doubt about that. Um, one of the amazing things that is possible, at least in San Francisco, is you can go to the city assessor's office and get data that describes every lot, every building, and uh, you pay the whopping fee of $5 to uh, obtain that whole, all that data. Um, so we use that uh, to cre recreate every lot in, in town and know what every building was that was on each one of those lots. So if you go to a certain corner on San Francisco and there's a five-story building in San Francisco, there will be a five-story building in San Francisco. It has that detail on the map. That it does, well. down to the number of bathrooms, but we didn't feel like we had to replicate that exactly. <laughs> um, so we had our art department uh, create very typical designs that would fit our art direction style, this mashup. This is one of the San, you know, pretty typical San Francisco type apartment buildings. Um, and then we analyzed these buildings and said, okay, they're modular. Let's analyze the modules. Let's get rid of all the repeats. Um, and then let's just build the unique elements. Then we procedurally created rule sets that would put this building back together. That's all well and good, but that doesn't help you very much until you can use that and expand on it and create variations on this building. Um, so you can see here, this is all the same modules put together in different ways. If that ever went a little crazy, then we would just eliminate that as a possibility. But this gave us the ability to not hand create every building that we needed, um, and yet have a tremendous number of uh, amount of variety, which any real city does. You're describing kind of a technical and analytical way to reproduce this randomness. How do you now interface with the artists who will do the artistic creation of what a building looks like because there's architecture and design and color and detail and how are you describing to them this very statistical and analytical approach? Well, I mean, I think you heard about collaboration as one of the, the biggest things that is important to our success. Um, there is no doubt that our artistic teams, our technical teams uh, are, are not separate teams. We are all unified in, in the creation of these films and we have people that run that entire spectrum from people who are pretty much solely drawing to people that uh, in the middle who do both and then people you know, writing hardcore code. So it takes every one of those people to create something like this. Um, so once we had those buildings, then we had to populate them throughout the city. And we ended up creating, uh, I think, 23 districts that represent um, all of San Francisco. Um, and as you can see, there was over 80,000 buildings and all the attendant things that are there in an actual city, street trees, um, light poles, there was traffic on the streets, there was crowds of uh, characters as you heard about earlier. Um, and we really needed that vibrancy that exists in, in San Francisco uh, or Tokyo.